captain here and he's back and he's got something to sweeten the pot in this Liquitex Professional spray paint which is also used for you mirrorless out there so I'm gonna use use this kind of spray paint on a canvas watch me work I saw a black squirrel out there. I don't know why very well. Hope some of you got this stuff at home now, dude. Yes. Anywho, <laughs> I'm making a mess. Oh well. I made a mess. <laughs> well, in case, well, okay, well. Oh well, oh well, we're done, we're done. It's time to get started on this little project here right here now. So, so let's begin now, shall we? I'm also going to be using some of these Liquitex basic paint brushes. So if you've got these at home, so. Um, then that's cool. First time using one of these babies. So. Yes. 
see. What shall we start off with today? Let's see. Got to bring that in. Oh well. Oh well, that's fine. Well, we start off with a little, start off with a little bit of titanium white. <laughs> titanium white. I still think. I still think of that. I still think. <laughs> I still think of the best of the joy of painting every day. All right now. All right. <laughs> if I can remember. I really forgot my references today, so, but I'm gonna try my best to remember. If, and when it comes to painting, you need a reference, so try to understand that. I understand that. Got it? Good. Now, let's see right there. Right there. <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? All right, let's try another one. Let's see. Let's see if we can give him a give him a partner in crime right here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Even though my painting ring. Even though my painting is a little sloppy, but hey. But hey. At least I'm getting the hang of it. Alright. Let me just wash this thing off. I'll be right back in just a minute. Take time to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> Take time to beat the devil out of it. Alright. Alright. Now which color should we which color should we use next? Alright, how about we start off with a little bit of we'll use some permanent deep green. Start with that.
Although I didn't intend to make this to make the green stuff behind the flowers a little bit longer, but you know, that's my conclusion. I was like, okay, you know what, you know, who cares? Could have used green. Could have bought some green, green spray paint, but you know, as I oh, as I said, who cares? You can use any color you want, huh? Uh, wonder I'm debating what should we put in on here next? Shall we put in like put in a four a fourth member a fourth flower? Well hey, well, like I said, you know you can do anything you want. So and that's for you to decide, so You know what we're gonna do it, so we're gonna give it another shot. First, let me wash this off, and then we'll do we'll give this third friend a fourth companion. But first, dab dab. There. Right back. Now, hmm. now, I'm debating. Now, I'm still debating. Should we give these three? Should we give the three musketeers a fourth, or leave it as it is? That's for you. Well, like I said, that's for you to decide. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Let's try again. Now, I'm still debating. Shall we give this? Shall we give these three musketeers a fourth friend, or leave it as it is? Anywho, it's up to you to decide what you want on your painting and how you want to paint it. So, I figure, why not do that? <clears throat> Go back to good old, use this. Go back to using titanium white. Or titanium white. No, no matter how you want to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, since every time I, every time I think about titanium white, I think of the best joy of paint with Bob Ross. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty good show, actually. I still. But he only uses watercolors, or well, no. Sometimes he uses no. He uses oil paint. 
Alright, there we go. Then we're gonna go back. Just using a little permanent deep green. Which I should be running out. Which, which I'm almost running out. Alright. To me. You gotta make sure you gotta make sure that there are no loose ends on your paint, you know what I mean? Because if you continue to have all these loose ends on your paint, then that means you've made a mistake. So make sure that there are no loose ends on there. Hmm. You know what? You know what? You know, I think I'm gonna call this one done here. I'm gonna call this one a complete, so. So, and remember, like I said, if you want to keep, if you want to practice on it, hey, I ain't stopping you. So, so, practice painting. See how well you do. And the rest, and the rest, and then life will be good.